morning everybody, welcome to Marvel Gaming, this is me again Marvin and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin and this time we're going to be talking about the best pet for each class. So when choosing the best pet for your own class, you have to consider a lot of things. For example, number one, what's your main focus in game? Is it going to be PvE, grinding, MVP or mainly PvP? So you have to decide on that. If it's going to be more on grinding PvE, then you should be first taking AOE pets. If you are leaning towards MVPs, of course, single target pets is better. Or some pet that would be giving you much more survivability or a tank pet. For PvP, for those instances wherein you're going to be meeting, you know, small amounts of monsters or enemies, of course, a single target is still best for that or tank for war of imperium or expedition or in deathmatch 3v3 that would be aoe because aoe pets are still better particularly if you are on a dps role or a dps side speaking of role that's the second thing that you need to think about what's your role or what is usually your role in a party is it going to be a tank or are you the dps there or are you support or your crowd control or caster on that party so if you're the tank of course another tank pet is always going to be better like double shield or something that would be keeping you alive so that your party won't be in danger or another support so that you could also deal more damage or contribute in in a lot of other ways to your party next would be dps if you are a dps if your role is a dps on the party single target or aoe dps pets will be better so that you could heighten up your contribution third if you are a support of course you have to survive thus a tank would be better for you or another support pet last if you are a crowd controller or a caster or a wizard then another tank so that you could survive and uh, stay up or another support now the third thing that you need to think about is your prominent skill what are the usual skills that you're using are you using um, you know aoe skills support skills casting skills or are you most likely going to be on auto attack or chance attacker then you should be thinking about that so if you are a single target damage dealer or an AOE, all right? So with that regards, here are going to be the top pets. The top pets usually picked or usually chosen for most instances. Take note, this is purely based on my opinion and our experiences, all right? So for tier S, let's go to the pets now. And gallery all right so if you still don't know you can filter the pets here so let's just first go for the tier s for the tier s pets it's number one it's dunel because dunel gives you a lot of aoe a big aoe that deals a lot of damage the number two is going to be the earth lord so the earth lord has been very famous because first because it's easy to do anthem trials the next one is because mainly the provoke thing for um endless tower for normal grinding and for other instances in dungeons it's really helpful or sometimes it could be a double-edged sword it can really bring chaos into your party or it can kill you faster than not having it okay but it's still very much useful Number three is Antasha, or what we call the Valkyrie. She's really good, a very good single target uh, hitter and tier S, particularly on PvP. Let's now go to tier A. Okay, for the tier A, I would rank number one, Squidget. Because Squidget's exclusive skill is for everyone, okay? Squidget performs a weird dance granting allies 15% damage for 10 seconds with a 10 second downtime because the cooldown is 20 seconds so this one goes up to 25 percent i mean 
it's it's as simple as that it increases your damage output and everyone does damage in this game so most likely you would be needing this one if you still cannot decide on which tier a you would be sticking into the wish list squidget is the one okay number two is child of earth child of earth can only be obtained using the redeem coins so now child of earth is one of the few pets that usually helps a lot in a lot of parts of the game um, sometimes in mvp most of the times in dungeons it really saves most of the characters right now because of the exclusive skill behind me number three is fire spirit so why is it number three because one of the most popular element in game right now is fire so fire spirits exclusive skill is an aoe damage skill but not as good as the meteors of course it should not be as good as the meteor storm of the wizard it only hits once uh per per meteor but but for every meteor that hits the enemy it increases the fire damage taken of the enemy for tier b we have here number one melee okay this is the most important thing that grants them minus 15 percent cast time on the next skill they cast so considering that this one is one of the reasons why your skill would get a, a total of 45 percent less cast less cast time then i think this one should be really be number one on the list number two is going to be volcanic bulldog Okay, Volcanic Bulldog shields you for 8 seconds of 20% of the owner's or your max HP. In my opinion, this one, since it's scaling on your max HP, brings a lot to you. While the shield is activated, it also increases your resistance, effect status effect resistance, and ab absorbs while dealing damage. So that is what I like about this. It shields you and it also deals damage. All right? So that is for number two. Number three is for the Agi builds out there. So Raccoon Warrior. The exclusive skill of the Raccoon Warrior increases your flee by 60 for 20 seconds. And whenever your character dodge or Raccoon Warrior dodges, you deal 50% physical damage. So in my opinion, this is good because it also protects you by increasing your flee. And at the same time, it also deals damage. So last... If you're going to be asking me which one is for your job, the first one, let's talk about knights and blacksmith. So I have uh, joined together knights and blacksmith because these are the two jobs out there that needs to survive. So the, the knight needs to survive because it's the tank. The second one, blacksmith, needs to survive because he already does a, a AOE DPS. He is very vital to the party because of the buffs and at the same time it doesn't have any survivability skills so i have joined them together because i do think that both of these job classes need the same set of pets so for tier s of course if you're a knight of course it would be better for you to get a tunnel because you already are tanking and you already are, you know, uh, absorbing most of the damage. So it would be better if you would have an additional DPS. So if not, most of the parts of the game, you need to survive, right? And Earth Lord will be helping you survive more. And at the same time, if you have or if you are more into the PvP side of the game and you're a knight, then Antasha would be the best for you also if you are a blacksmith now for tier a of course you have to be stronger you have to be tankier and you have to survive thus the candle morn is the best for you if you are a knight or a blacksmith because it heals you and at the same time shields you up and gives damage to the enemy so it's just one one tap thing for most of the blacksmiths and the knights out there the next one would be Pearl. Pearl is the second best healer out there just because the cooldown of the heal of Pearl is really low. It's only 8 seconds and she's already healing for 4 seconds. So that's just 4 second downtime. Alright? For tier B, it's going to be Volcanic Bulldog. Okay? For the same reason and same effect of the Candle Morn but without the healing. Okay? So... Now, if you are a hunter 
or an assassin i joined together these two because one common trait that they have is that they really need a lot of attack speed or even movement speed and thus i have uh, joined them together for s tier s okay i would be suggesting ghost samurai because of the exclusive skill of this pet the exclusive skill of this pet is really going to be giving a lot of dps to your party and to that uh, specific character because every attack or damage or casting a skill this pet gains one charge every nine charge he releases that through a set of attacks in my opinion this one is the best for those who have a high attack speed so that's why i love the ghost flame flurry for the high attack speed characters out there all right and for the trappers just in case you're still a trapper right now dunel is still the best because the trap doesn't have a big aoe at least dunel you know suffices the lack of big aoe in your dps okay for tier a divination cat is the best for assassins and hunters okay this one is the divination cat okay it has an exclusive skill of only single target but what you want from here is the battle blessing there every time that he casts it there's a 30 percent chance to grant the owner a buff or a random buff for three seconds it's either attack speed and or physical or magical attack or crit damage and crit so this one is huge but it's just 30 percent but in my opinion all of this are very useful and i think this one benefits the two job classes a lot okay so divination cat the next one is for the long-ranged hunters or the adl this one is the best in my opinion the dr owl okay the dr owls uh, exclusive skill increases the ranged damage that the enemy that got hit by its gale wind by 20 percent so 20 percent for six seconds and the cooldown is eight seconds look at that only two second downtime and if you're going to be if you're going to be making it tier 10 it's going up until 30 percent for 10 seconds so it's infinite for the tier b it's going to be raccoon warrior it also goes along with your high agility the raccoon warrior would be heightening up more your flea so next for the wizard and the priests of course for the wizards and the priests these are both casters in the game that's why i have joined them together so the first tier s that would i would be suggesting for them is the earth lord first it can tank for them the second one is the provoke skill is really the best in terms of those who are casting aoe spells such as the wizard or a magnus priest so earth lord is still the best the second one is dunel if you don't know on tier 3 look at this upon casting elemental breath it reduces the owner's global cooldown by 20 percent for 10 seconds and reduce fixed cast time and variable cast time of the next skill they cast within 10 seconds by 50 percent but you need a ton of investment for this one you have to focus a lot on getting the tier 3 of the dunel so that you could get this all right so that's on tier 3 next is tier a of course for the wizards out there fire spirit is the best since your uh, your famous skill is going to be meteor storm while you're still a wizard and this one would be increasing the damage of your meteor storm more and also if you become a high wizard the gravitational field also has a sub fire element so it can also get uh, increased the damage can also get increased with the fire spirits meteor storm skill okay so for these full support of course the child of earth is still the best because you need to stay alive as much as possible the last one is for the wizards the hati babe if you don't have the earth lord this is the mini earth lord okay it also provokes and that's it for tier b this is very much important if you still don't have the tier 3 which is most people probably don't have the tier 3 of Donel, then melee is the way to go melee is always going to be you know the one of the best pets 
for the casters out there, including full supports and including wizards. All right. So that's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I do hope that this guide has helped you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you happen to like this video, please do leave a like, share this to your friends, and click that bell notification button to get notified every time I upload a new video, start a new stream, or a new content. That's it. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye.